Well, it's known as Didymo. Yeah, but anglers and others know it by another name, one that's uh, not so pleasant and causes all kinds of problems. Doug Rafferty's been looking into it and joins us now with more. Jeff, you can call it by its common name, rock snot. <laughs> yeah. It's an invasive species, and it's not in Maine yet that we know of. But as we discovered, some groups are trying to see that it never does get here. We do expect at some point that it'll show up here in the state of Maine. A grim prediction from Francis Froudigan, fisheries biologist. But Fly Fishing Maine is one of the volunteer organizations taking the lead in trying to stop rock snot. This was a 5% salt solution in there. We're asking anglers to kind of step in. And they got a grab bar here to hold on to and soak their, their boots and their, their waders on the bottoms there where these algaes could be hiding in the crevices and cracks and seams and whatnot. Dan Tarkinson demonstrated one of three voluntary washing stations for us. This one's at the head of the Presumpscot River in Wyndham. The others are located on the Rapid River. And it's an area that's kind of close in proximity to areas in New Hampshire where this uh, species has been identified and confirmed. Didymo, or rock snot, is an invasive species that was in the Rocky Mountains and fairly contained until fishermen started traveling around the world. Now it's in New Zealand and threatening rivers across the U.S. Uh, once it's here, it, it seems to be here. Uh, there's no uh, quick fix for getting rid of it. So really the only option we have is trying to prevent it to, from coming here in the first place. Yeah. The threat of rock snot is very real, but it's not here in Maine yet. There are, however, some invasive species we need to be concerned about. Certainly in time, that will be more of an issue, and, and anglers really need to start getting in the practice of, of inspecting and cleaning their gear when they go even between waters in the state of Maine. An ounce of prevention now is worth it if everybody takes an active role. One cell of algae can destroy a river like the Presumpscot. It's important the word gets out. But nothing else finds out about this species and the problems with it, and, you know, we're educating anglers. There's a huge success in the program just in that regard. Yeah. Didymosphenia geminata is its scientific name, Kylie. And, by the way, not only fly fishing Maine is involved, the Rangeley Lakes Heritage Trust is as well, and some significant funding from L.L. Bean made it all possible. If you'd like more information about this, you can log on to our website, WGME.com. Click on News Features and then on Doug's Discovery. You Jeff. say it so well, Doug, that I thought it was better if you <laughs> said the long name and I stuck to Didymo. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, but I tell you, uh, it doesn't matter what you call it. it it's really uh, a, a terrible species once it gets in a river and there is just basically no way to get it out. Mm. All right. Thanks so much, Doug. Sure I'll just call it the blob. That's okay. what it looks like.